to TSS Online. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> We're going to be singing. Turn it up. Put your hands together and join us with the actions, okay? Yes. Yeah. Woo! Woo.
When Jesus saw their faith, he said, When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Friend, your sins are forgiven. Luke 5, 20. Luke 5, 20. Would you say it on your own, Kimba? When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Luke 5, 20. What is faith? Believing God and believing that Jesus is God. About whom did Jesus talk about? Whose faith did Jesus see? That is what we are going to learn today. There was a man who couldn't walk. Some men carried him on a mat and brought him to Jesus. And when they couldn't find the way because of the crowd, they brought the man on the mat and they took him to the top of the roof and through the roof they lowered the mat in front of Jesus. Why are you looking up? How did they do that? Did they build the roof? Oh! Those days, the houses were built with stone and the roof was made, uh, the roof was flat and the roof was made out of mud and straw. So they were able to take up, out the roof and uh, lower, lower the uh, man through the roof. How did they carry the man up? Okay, so those days the houses had stairs outside, so they would have carried him like this. Yay! Now I understand. They believe that Jesus could help the man who cannot walk. They tried hard to bring you to Jesus. Oh, then what happened now to this? When Jesus saw the faith of the men, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Luke 4, 20. Wow, Kimba, you're so clever. You have memorized that verse so quickly. And then uh, when Jesus said that, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking, who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking. And when Jesus said, which is easier, saying your sins are forgiven or take up your mat and go home? Jesus had the authority to forgive sins. Jesus had the authority to forgive sins. Yes, Kimba, that's right. Then Jesus said to the man, take your mat and go home. Immediately he stood up and everyone was amazed. Wow, that's amazing. So Kimba, what have you learned today? I learned that we should have faith and faith on Jesus Christ. God saw the faith of the men. God sees our faith too. And we should show our faith in our actions. Wow, Kimba, you have learned so well. Anything else? Faith is believing in Jesus. Jesus, only Jesus can forgive the sins of people. 
That's great. Good job, Kimba. Remember everyone, we should have faith and show our faith in our actions. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name we pray. We pray for all those who need healing, healing from sins and healing from sickness. We bring the situation of our country into your hands, Lord. We pray for the whole world too. We pray for all those who need healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye. Hey kids. So today the story, the Bible story is about the Paralytic Man. And um, we are going to do a small craft to remember the story. So first you all need a board like this, maybe a preserve board. Um, you are cut into 7 to 9 inches. And uh, this is for the house structure in, to show the house inside. So first we will draw the roof this way. And then uh, we just cut a small uh, piece to show the opening. And it will be like this. And you'll cut the opening this way. And you can color the roof inside and then maybe the windows. And it will be the structure inside the house. And then you'll need to cut a small uh, rectangular uh, shape. This is for the man's uh, mat. So we'll color the mat any color you like. I'll be coloring from brown. You can use uh, crayons or color pencils to color. And just punch two holes in the sides and take uh, any kind of cord even a twine piece would be okay and just tie this around the holes To show the mat and you all can put it in between this opening area and then I have uh, drawn the paralytic man and the figure of Jesus uh, you all can also draw this way in a puzzle board or in a cardboard and cut it and color it You all can start colouring it from uh, chalk or colour pencils that you like. I'm just colouring this the way I want. So you all can colour any colour that you like.
This is the paralyzed man. You can even use uh, patignum. Just draw the outline so that it will be much uh, perfect. So this will be the paralyzed man and then we will color Jesus. You all can uh, draw any way you are like and color the way you are like just to show the figure of Jesus and the paralyzed man. So that through this craft you all can remember the story of the paralyzed man. Then you will need to take the paralyzed man and put some glue and paste him on the mat and just keep it to dry for some time. Okay, and the same way you can paste um, the figure of Jesus. Just put some glue. And paste in right here and also the memory verse for today is when Jesus saw their faith he said friend your sins are forgiven Luke 5 20 and you can uh, write this on a piece of paper and I have put uh, a double tape here and just paste it on the house this way to remember the memory verse so when you all see this you all can remember the story of the paralytic man so i hope you all enjoyed the craft let's uh, pray and um, in this time thank you lord jesus for this beautiful time thank you that we learned that you are a healer and you are the healer who can heal any difficult sickness Lord, also help us to be like the four friends who helped this paralyzed man to help others who are in need and also to trust in you for healing. 
Lord, I commit all the little kids, O oh Lord, all the kids in our tab, O oh Father, to your precious hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.